Howdy doody everybody. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to compare and order fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals. Sounds like a lot, but you totally got this. So let's go ahead and get started. You're at the school carnival and in order to win the grand prize, you need to put these numbers on the screen here in order from least to greatest. So let's just keep that in mind right off the bat that our goal is to compare and order these numbers and we're going to order them from least to greatest, the smallest to the biggest. We have the following numbers. Two and two tenths, five tenths, it's a fraction the improper fraction 21 tenths, and the mixed number 2 and 3 tenths. When I compare and order fractions, remember that's our goal here, we want to order them from least to greatest, I like to have them all in the same form. So they have to look alike. So that means that the denominators need to be the same if we're going to be working with fractions, uh, and they either all need to be in decimals, or fractions in order for us to be able to easily compare and order them. So I'm going to draw some lines, grab a sheet of notebook paper and do this with me. I like to draw lines because it helps me keep my work in a neat orderly fashion. All right, so let's start with two and two tenths right away first and let's change that over to a fraction. So if I say the decimal two and two tenths, I come up with the number 2 and 2 tenths. So it is definitely a mixed number, it's more than one. Okay, so that one's in a fraction now and we're good to go. Let's scoot over to our next one. We have 5 tenths. That is in a fraction format, so we're going to leave that alone. Nothing to change there. I'm merely rewriting it just to keep it in line with my other numbers. Next one, 21 tenths. That's our improper fraction. I'm going to change that to a mixed number. I could leave it in an improper fraction, but I also know that I'm going to have a mixed number down here and I have a mixed number here. So just to keep things nice and orderly, I'm going to change my improper fraction to a mixed number. So set up my division problem. 10 goes into 21, a total of two full times, and 2 times 10 is 20. Do some subtraction. I have one left over. So my fraction is going to be 2 and one tenth. I'm just going to erase that so I have some more room to work with. So two and one tenth is our fraction. Now, or mixed number, I should say. Still a fraction. Finally, we have two and three tenths, and that one is looking good. It is in mixed number fraction format, so we're just going to rewrite that. And now we have all of our numbers sitting happily in fraction format, okay? We can easily from here look and see if our denominators are all the same because we need the same denominator in order to be able to compare our fractions. So we have a denominator of 10, 10, 10, and 10. So we are good to go. And now all we have to do is be able to order them. Okay, so let's grab a pen here and let's ask ourselves which is the smallest one because we're going from least to greatest. By far that would be 5 tenths. So that's going to get the lowest one. I'm just going to write a number one by it. The next one, the next biggest one would be two and one tenth. And after that would be two and two tenths. And the final one would be two and three tenths. So when we write these from least to greatest, we're not necessarily writing these down here. We're writing these up here. So we have five tenths. 21 tenths, 2 and 2 tenths, 2 and 3 tenths. By the way, if it freaks you out to do the comparing in fraction, you can always change all of them to decimals. That's an easy thing for you to do too if you want to compare them that way. But this uh, today you were able to see them in the fraction formats. That's all for now. Have fun and we'll see you later.